Hi, Eloise. Hi. I'm Dr. B. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in today for your hand exam. You're helping us demonstrate what it would be like to get a thorough hand exam for any issues. Uh, we can also talk about any issues that you might be having as well, but we're mostly here to uh, demonstrate how it would work. So we're going to be very thorough, very detailed. Perfect. So do you have any current issues with your hands or things that I should be aware of? Any pains or aches in no your hands? No pains. Uh, due to my job, I work with small little items, so it's primarily use in these. But Okay, so maybe know. some overuse in the yeah. thumb and the pointer. Okay, we'll pay attention to that. So the first thing we always do is just take a look at the hands. I'll start out with just a visual inspection. Do you see that the nails are painted? So we'll test the other side here. Again, just looking for anything that might stick out as a problem. I'm just going to palpate now. Just relax as best you can. So yeah, that muscle's quite tight there. Feeling the joints. some pain there? No. Okay. Okay, this side. Let's relax that hand. So this doesn't feel quite as tense. Are you right-handed? I am right-handed, okay. yeah. Yeah, so you definitely use that primary hand a little bit more. Feel the difference between... Yeah, you can see them too. Yeah, it's palms a lot. More swollen or muscular as well. Over now, do the same thing on the side, just feeling each joint. And are these tattooed on or they just are. drawn on? They're tattooed. Very well healed, so that seems like well taken care of. How old are those ones? Um, around two, three weeks. Oh, so they're brand new. Yeah. So they actually look great. There's no redness, there's no swelling, so those those look very well healed. There's really not any swelling in the knuckles that I can feel. So that's good. Sometimes when we use our hands a lot, we can have, you know, we can be prone to more um, crepitus or arthritis in the hands earlier in our lives. Yeah. They're also still quite young, so. Yeah. We'll see what happens in the next time. Especially with my job. Especially with your job, exactly. So I'm now going to make some movements. So I do feel a little clicking there. Mm -hmm. Just checking the tone, range of motion. if there's any pain when I do any of these motions. Okay, that's all fine. Okay, I'll have you make some motions now. Roll the wrists. Go in as much as you can. Tight fists. And just relax them out. I'm going to test your strength. So if you can push your arm fingers out as wide as you can, don't let me push them in. Just lift them from the table just a little bit. There you go. Good. And now close together. I'm going to have a paper towel. So let's put it right in between the, these two fingers. Hold on to it nice and tight. Don't let me take it away. Good. And 
of this and this two good and these two yeah, a little bit of more weakness on yeah. in that one so we'll try this side as well the next one that's nice and strong good nice and strong so it's really just that one um, finger grouping that had a little more like a four out of five for strength but if it doesn't bother you it's just maybe that gets a little less use or whatever it might be up like this for me please don't let me pull you push me down okay i'm gonna hold your wrist Can you go side to side for me against my hand okay here this way this way very good um I think that's fine for range of motion. Let's take a look at the skin a little deeper with my magnifying light here, especially because you do have some tattoos and that ink. We want to make sure there's nothing underneath the surface. So we'll start with this side. Looks really well healed. It's looking at the palm. Good hair distribution, nice and even, pretty light as well. You're not very um, prone to that, doesn't seem. Could you flip the palm for me, please? Thank you. Taking a look at the joint lines, they're even. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to take a look at this side now. I do see just a little bit more peeling on these new um, tattoos, but that's pretty yeah. typical for, for tattoos, so they're so new to me. It also might just be my cuticle care. <laughs> oh, could be, but either way, it doesn't look like, a, it looks like healthy skin shedding, not unhealthy skin shedding. A couple of small freckles here. There's Consistent in color and shape. Okay, go ahead and flip over for me. Yeah, that all looks fine as well. Perfect. I'm just going to use a slightly stronger light here. I'm looking more for the vein structure. See the veins running through the hands, but they're not too pronounced. Check the skin turner. Good. Goes back quickly. I just test the capillary refills since. Have her nails done, but it's nice and brisk. Okay, same thing here. Let's do the reflexes. Here we go. So I'm going to have you just relax all your weight. Completely relax here. Just feeling for that tendon there. Not super reactive, that's okay. There we go, a little bit there. So these are, are these gel? Yeah, they're okay. colored gel. Okay, so it's gonna be a little hard to test the um, shape of the nails or the health of the nail bed, but just keep an eye on that when you get them removed. If there's anything unusual, you can let your doctor know. Um, if you could adjust, make an okay sign for me, check, check the range of motion, okay? And do it with each finger, and kind of go as fast as you can go. 
any pain there? Mm, maybe in this one where I stretch it. Where I stretch it, like here? In this kind area? of like in here. On this side, okay. Okay, here I'm gonna tap on the hands. Tell me if that makes it worse or if there's any shooting pains. That's okay. Yeah. What about right here? Anything? No. Okay. That would be where you are. Mm. Right, right there? Here. Right yeah. here? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tender. And where does that? It's very localized. Just tender. Yeah. Okay. And I think it's because that muscle. That muscle is so tight. Yeah. So we should add that to our list of things to work on. And I'll avoid over here because we already know that's bothering you. Everything else is okay? Yeah, that's good. Let me try this side. So starting over here, I wonder if you have the same issue. No, okay, good. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, let's test over on this muscle. Any tenderness there? No. So it's definitely that right side is worse. Yeah, that was okay. all good. All right, so let's actually measure side to side. I want to see if there's, I can see there is some swelling, but let's see how much. So I'll see the base there. Okay, so that's one and a half versus one and a quarter. So actually a quarter quarter inch of swelling, that's actually quite a bit. You could see it. That's yeah, so funny, I never can. noticed that. You absolutely can. I have to check this one. It's an inch to five to an inch. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely more pronounced there. And I think some of it is muscle tone. Yeah. Some of it though does seem to be swelling like this here. Yeah. You see how it sort of sticks out here yeah. versus here? That's definitely more swelling than muscle tone. Versus this mm -hmm. is could be a little bit more muscle tone. Like, you see how that's just a little yeah. more bounced right there? And it's also a little bit flatter looking. A little looking. flatter there. But you can kind of feel, if you feel your own hand here, there's this puff right here. That's swelling. Yeah. So we can work on that. And that's that. where that tenderness is, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. And again, it's not abnormal. Yeah. Our dominant hand gets yeah. more use. It's my writing hand. It's my piercing hand. It's my everything hand. Hold your phone hand, perhaps. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Primarily, but, when I text, I'm texting. I hold with and that then, like, finger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all of that can can make a difference. Okay. So let's just get a palm with then. Just a natural, relaxed hand, please. Perfect. One. So it's almost an inch or almost a centimeter less swelling. That's quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And let's see the range of motion now. So I've spread them out as far as they can go. And I'm basically going to be comparing side to side. So that's quite similar. A little bit more range of motion here. Quite similar. From the center of each finger, making sure so more range of motion on this side as well. Because center here, or actually, I, I apologize, so more range of motion on this side. So maybe that swelling is actually mm -hmm. causing it. Does feel a little tight? Feeling tighter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So before we go ahead and do any sort of treatment, I just want to make sure there's nothing neurologically going on in your hands, especially because you had a little bit of that um, nerve pain shooting down the finger. So to do that, we're gonna test um, your sensory functioning in your hand, because we already did a bit of mm -hmm. um, rapid alternating movements. So I have just a little cotton swab here. I want you to just um, tell me when you feel it. You can say now. Close your eyes for me, please. No. 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 
Very good. Flip the hands for me, please. No. 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 Okay. I'm going to um, just break this in half here. So you've got that dull mm -hmm. and a little sharp. Do you feel the difference? Yes. Tell me what you feel. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Dull. Sharp. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Okay. Sharp. Yep. So no problems there. You're able to feel pretty um, specific movements. Got a, a wheel here. See, it feels sharp to you all the way. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm just going to run it on the hand. Let me know if it changes at all or feels at all less sharp. It feels less sharp in the palm area. Right here? Sharp, yeah. As you're going down the hand, once you reach about like here on the fingers. Okay. So you probably have a little bit of callusing here, if I had to guess, but let's try this side and see. Is that the same? Yeah. Okay, so more callusing on the right side. Yeah, that feels pretty similar. Yeah, that feels okay. the same. Okay, and just to test it on the arms, does that feel the same all the way down? Mm-hmm. Does that feel the same? Mm -hmm. Flip this hand over. This one's okay, but I just want to see if the top of the hand, which is less calloused, feels the same or if it's some issue with the nerve. It's kind of the same, but it's a little bit closer to like the nail bed. It's a little sharper to the yeah. nail bed? Yeah. Okay, again, that's probably due to the sensitivity of of the fact that that part of our hands gets very little use. But as long as this part's yeah, feeling that, the same yeah. as, as like this part, mm -hmm. then it's probably not that nerve issue. Okay, a couple more tests here. What temperature does that feel like? Cold. Cold. What does that feel like to you, that sensation? Uh, vibrating. Yeah, vibrating or um, just pressure. Okay. Pressure. Vibrating. Good. Pressure. Yep. Pressure. Vibrating. Good. All right, I think that's fine as far as sensation goes, honestly. Um, we'll get a more um, specific range of motion you have some differences in your range of motion. So I'm going to hold the wrist here. I want you to go as far up as you can. So that is about 115 degrees. So we'll do the same thing on this side. So holding the wrist there, going up here. So starting flat. About 110 on this side, so a little bit more flexible, but pretty similar, honestly. Okay, and to the side. Starting out here. And that's the same as well. You go the other way. 130. same as well. Okay, that's fine. So it's not super affecting your range of motion or like ability to do tasks or small things, right? Can you pick this up for me, please? And show me how you would write with this if it was a pen. Like this, I normally do like that. Okay, any pain when you do that? Um, I rested around, around here. So, so just like some skin. Yeah, just irritation. some tenderness. You could kind of see that or like feel that I have a little bit of an indent because mm -hmm. that's how I've always written. Okay. And with this hand, give you a, let's call this 
a makeup brush, just pretend to sort of draw on the face. Okay. I just want to see that your hands are able to do the motions. Perfect. And your eyebrows look great now. <laughs> <laughs> they looked great before. Um, that's most of the tests that we would do in, in a thorough investigation, and now we can apply some treatment. So for you, I'd like to do a little bit of massage and just breaking up a little bit of that fascia and swelling, try and get the hands moving again. Um, and we'll see how you feel after that, okay? So I'll just put down a paper towel here. I'll just take that injured hand, if you don't mind. We're going to focus on pulling the muscles. Let me know if it's ever too painful or uncomfortable, okay? Is this feeling relieving or is it feeling? Yeah. Okay, good. Just feels like it feels like you're breaking down a knot. Yep, and I can feel some movement here. So our hands get a lot of use, but they don't get a lot of attention oftentimes. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> if it's too much, you can let me know, but otherwise just try and let me break down those, those knots. little tool here. It's just meant to squeeze just a little bit. Kind of a funny feeling, right? Mm -hmm. use just a couple of globes, cooling globes, to try and just sort of decrease that swelling even more. You can absolutely ice your hands. Yeah. Very helpful in keeping the swelling down.
the other side a little bit of attention just for equality. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this one feels so much less taut. And yeah, this one's easier to relax too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. You can feel that you're just you're able to sort of melt into my hands a little better over here. Side for now. All right, so Ellie's, I'm gonna send you home with some exercises to do to stretch out those hands, keep the blood flow moving, keep that swelling breaking up on your own, some self massage as well. Um, but thank you so much for coming in and helping to demonstrate a hand exam as well as. Um, let us uh, diagnose you. you so, so appreciate your time and uh, we'll see you very soon.